blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go, we. In this video, we will review week two of the NFL 2022 season. We will discuss the major crazy comebacks that happened. We will also wonder why Matt Ryan. Why the hell is he still playing? I'm sorry my pants fell down, but I can't. That's my paper. I'll get you. Matt, I'll get it for you. And that's your copy, sir. Here you go. All right, you want to pull your pants up, sir? Yeah. All right. Salutation ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time to our channel, welcome and please enjoy your stay. We specialize in content with regards to comics, sports, and pop culture. We put the ass in classy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and say hi. So I was watching the uh, Colts and Jags game. My wife is a Jags fan. I don't know why, but whatever. And she controls the living room TV every Sunday. Yo, man. Ryan looked bad. Like, really, really bad. Bad like, you know that expired taco that you had in your fridge for two weeks? You know it will turn your stomach into diarrhea dumpster fire? But it's 2 a.m. and you're really hungry. You're a Frank, right? Matt Ryan is that expired taco. And your season is the diarrhea dumpster fire. Good luck on your decision. So Trey Lance is done for the season due to a horrible ankle injury. Who was to blame for that injury? Then this can only be one person. Jimmy G! Oh, nabbit. Mike Evans was suspended because he got into a scuffle with Marshawn Lattimore. Again. Evans did what he had to do to protect his QB. Enough of my anecdotal thoughts. What does Evan have to say? It's really unfair. It's my team. It's my quarterback. And if you guys do that, man, it's unfair. I just took a peek at the current passing yard leaders, and this is what I saw. This is crazy, like end time crazy. Maybe those apocalyptic protest signs that we see on the streets, they are actually correct. The end is nigh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Let's not freak out yet. I mean, there needs to be more evidence. Coming up next, more evidence to show you why the end game is near. In week two, there are so many late comebacks to decide NFL games. One? Okay, that's just a coincidence. But more than two games in a week? That is mystical proof that something is up. The Ravens, they got slapped. Raiders, they got slapped. The Browns got slapped. And Kyler Murray really did get slapped, like physically. So did I Juju shoes you of the No Fun League. He got slapped pretty hard, but that one's figuratively speaking though. He scored over 100 points, but that is still the lowest of the week. Now the person who did a lot of slapping, in the No Fun League was Legends of Fazio. He had the passing yard leader on his team and that scored him almost 50 bloody points. That is crazy. You know what? I think it's time that we know a little bit more about this GM. First off, can you please introduce yourself? Felix. <laughs> Legends of Fazio. Oh, pretty good. First off, uh, congratulations on being the first team to reach 200 points in this league for this year. First off, since you're a new kid, we will apply the jail rule. The jail rule is that you're new, so you have to go pick on the baddest guy in the block. 
So in our league, who is that fast guy that you want to beat down? Oh, that probably has to be Kenny. Uh, I don't know his team name this year. See, I didn't know I came here to be disrespected. Uh, let me try to remember his name. His name was Oops, I Did It Again. Oh, yeah. Oops, I Did It Again. I'm coming for you. All right, so why do you think Kenny is the baddest guy on the block? We got JT. That's it? That's it. Now, is there a team that you root for, and why do you root for that team? I want your origin story. Uh, of course, we got to root for the home team, the Buffalo Bills. Oh, you mean not not the Toronto Argonauts? I thought they are the home team. Oh, I like them too, <laughs> when, during the Flutie era. But now, it's got to be all about Josh Allen. All right. And Bill Mafia. All right, so the Bills is the team that you go for. Now, is there a reason why? Is it just because they're the closest to you, or is there, like, a, a story behind it? No story behind it. Just they're a small town. You got to root for the underdogs all the time. And now they're not even the underdogs now. Now they're the biggest team on the street. Now, have you been have you been to a tailgame party in Buffalo during a game? Yeah. yeah. We haven't been in a long time, though, but we... In high school and university, we used to go out on the Bills games all the time. During that time, did they, all, did they also throw people onto folding tables? No, Bills Mafia is definitely a new thing. Oh, congratulations to becoming a local degenerate. <laughs> Congrats and good luck to you and the passing yard leader, Tua. Until next time, stay classy. We'll see. Maybe I have to record it twice. <laughs> this is the worst interview ever. <laughs>